I'm Nancy Watpangib, a fifth grader from Tangpil Runtam School. Today, I would like to talk about digital learning in the year 2022. Let me ask you a question. Would it be better to use digital learning tools and technologies such as tablets and laptops instead of paper and loads of books to using elaborate software programs and equipment than the simple pen? Anyway, how do we describe digital learning? It is a learning facilitated by technology that gives students some elements of control over time, place, path, and pace. Digital learning tools and technologies could entail site services and programs, teaching tools and technologies like setting aids built for home use. Even social networks and communications platforms can be used to manage and create digital assignments, and it has been proven useful for students' online learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, why does digital learning provide students some elements of control over time, place, path, and pace? First, the control over time. Learning is no longer restricted to the school day or the school year. The internet and a rapid increase of internet access devices have given students the ability to learn anytime. Second, the control over place. In this situation, learning is no longer restricted within the walls of a classroom. Students have the ability to learn anywhere. They are able to identify what they need to learn, find and use online resources. Third, the control over path. Learning is no longer restricted to the traditional method used by the teacher. Interactive and adaptive software allows students to learn and explore their own style, making learning personal and engaging. New learning technologies provide real-time data that gives teachers the information they need to adjust instructions to meet the unique needs of each student. And fourth, the control over pace. Learning is no longer restricted to the pace of an entire classroom of students. Interactive and adaptive software allows students to learn at their own pace, spending more or less time on lessons or subjects to achieve the same level of learning. Now, digital learning is not just providing students with laptops. It requires a combination of technology, digital content, and instruction. Therefore, it is important to understand the components of digital learning. Remember, technology is the mechanism that delivers content from the internet access and hardware, from a desktop to a laptop to an iPad to a smartphone. This is the tool, not the instruction. And what about digital content? This is the high quality academic material which is delivered through technology. It is what students learn from new, engaging, interactive and adaptive software to classic lectures, to video lectures, to games. And for instruction, technology may change the role of a teacher, but it will never eliminate the need of a teacher. With digital learning, teachers will be able to provide the personalized guidance and assistance to ensure students learn and stay on track throughout the year and year after year. Now, teachers are the guide on the side not the center stage. Using digital learning for students is simply unmatchable by traditional learning techniques. It enables students to develop effective self-directed learning skills. It saves a lot of paper for handouts and books. It provides an effective way to cut costs, the saving time with quick access to information. Again, the question is, would it be better to use digital learning for students? Bill Gates once said, When I wanted to learn something as a kid, I would open my world book encyclopedia. That was the best I could do. Now, all you have to do is to just go online. Thank you all so much.